So Tesla smashed Q2 earnings. To all our surprise, it was an amazing. I mean, if you guys follow this channel, we knew it's going to be a beat. I had 94 cents, it did 91 cents. So it's going to be a beat. It's just the fact that they actually did it was the fact that it surprised everyone that, oh my God, they reduced prices, margins came down, but they still beat earnings about like 10 cents or so, which was absolutely in flip insane. But now the question is, how is Q3 and Q4 going to look like? Because personally, I am a little bit concerned about Q3 because they do have the factory upgrades and all their plants, all their factories around the world. So that's gonna be very interesting to see how Q3 is gonna play out. But in my opinion, I still do think there's going to be a record in deliveries. I'm just saying, and in production as well. So let's just get down to it. I have a flight in about three hours or so. So I really wanna get this video done. And by the time you guys watch this video, I'm probably on the plane. So anyways, let's get down to it. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Let's go. So here's my quarterly chart for Tesla and I did update the Q2, every single bit of it. Right now with a 77 PE, which is the price right now of 270 bucks per share. In the last trailing 12 months, Tesla has done $94 billion in revenue and a little bit over 12 billion and net income, which is absolutely insane. But anyways, we want to see how Q3 and Q4 is going to be. As I said, Q3, I'm a little bit concerned. However, Q4 is going to be absolutely like monstrous. But first, let's go ahead and see what Q3 is going to be. And I believe that vehicle deliveries for Q3 is gonna be close to about 475,000. Yes, it's still a record, but not as high as it could be, or I mean, it could be less, I don't know. We have to wait until there's more information to see how these factory shutdowns, how long they're going to be, but I'm guessing if they if they did 466,000 in Q2, then in Q3, they should do almost close to 500,000. So I'm saying 475,000 is going to be the deliveries. Comment down below if you guys agree or not, but I'm gonna go ahead with this. I also reduced the average selling price to 43 and a half, credits to 50 million. Services, profits, and revenue increased. Leasing increased just a little bit, tiny bit. I mean, this is more like a, probably gonna stay a little bit flat for some time. Gross margins, I did increase it to 17.8%, even though we are reducing prices. And the reason why I did that is because of this. Check out this chart, guys. This is automotive cogs, pretty much what this this is is that it shows how much each vehicle costs Tesla to make. So anything above this is a profit. And as you guys can see in Q2 of 2022, it was almost 40,000, which is crazy. In Q3, it was 38,000, so down about almost four and a half percent. In Q4, it was 38,000, not too much. But in Q1, we had over four percent to 36 and a half thousand. And in Q2, recently, it went down from almost a percent to 36,000. Most likely in Q4. It's gonna be in the 35,000s in Q4, right? Because Q3 is gonna be 35,000. Q4, it's probably gonna be low 35,000 or actually going as low as 34,000 with a huge ramp up and economy of scale with Berlin and Austin. Oh my God, it's gonna be a sheesh moment. But for, for Q3, I'm assuming 35 and a half, maybe 35 and 600, 700 is what the costs are going to be. Now, knowing that, this will actually help Tesla reduce their cost or the price of the vehicles anyways. But if interest rates go up, which I do think they are, probably are gonna go up again, which is just ridiculous, Tesla will be forced to do it whether they like it or not. Now, I think 43 and a half is being a little bit optimistic. I do think that if inter interest rates go up and demand is, uh, because nobody's gonna, you know, do big capital purchases with, with these high interest rates. And car is one of them. I mean, car is one of the main things. So definitely we could probably see this drop down to the, Low three, 43 thousands, or maybe in the 42 thousands. But nonetheless, every vehicle price is going down quarter by quarter. Now for the energy section, I put 1.9 billion for the revenue and the profits 18%, as we just saw in Q2, which was absolutely insane. 18% energy, more than the vehicle section. I mean, this will continue, obviously, but it's, ins it's insane to see it's this early. It's crazy. But I left it here at 18%, which we get almost 350 billion, a million, and profits, energy profits. Operating costs, 1.9 billion, taxes to 50, other income, 300 million, and of course, shares of standings being diluted year after year. So now let's go ahead and put the vehicle deliveries, and let's see what the numbers will get. 475,000 is what I'm guessing. Bam, oh, look at all the numbers come. I love that. So we get 18.2% total gap gross margin. 
So that's the same as Q2. So that's very interesting to see. But look at that operating margin, 10.8% is being more than the last quarter. But again, we got to wait to see. I'm very curious to see what uh, Shanghai deliveries for July is. We'll find out in about a week or so. And we'll definitely we'll make a video update on that. We'll have more of a clear prediction for that, more clear prediction for that. But I'm more curious. I need to know how long the shutdowns are. Is it one week, 10 days, two weeks, three days, four days? That is the most important part because every day will cost Tesla that. So that's what I'm very interested to know. But revenue is reaching almost $26 billion. Net income gap, $2.8 billion. Non-gap, almost $3.3 billion. So really, it's just slightly more than Q2. And the EPS for this non-gap is $0.94, cents, so only $0.03 cents more than last quarter, which is pretty interesting. I mean, right now, Wall Street is estimating this quarter is going to be $0.73 cents. I mean, that's what they said about last quarter, 72 cents, and they brought it all the way up to 80, 80 and 82 cents in between those two numbers, which is hilarious. So obviously expect this two number to go up as we keep going forward in this week, in this quarter. Now, what could the stock price be if they do 94 cents? Because if it is a beat, then definitely we will see a leveling or probably going up to the upside, depending on what guidance is. So with that, let's give it the same PE as Q2, which is 77. And look, the stock price went down. Why is that? Because overall the EPS as on a yearly, on a fiscal basis is going down. In order for them to have a higher EPS in terms of, or bring the EPS higher as a fiscal year, they would have to have an EPS in Q3 of like a dollar 10 or a dollar 15, which I don't know how they're gonna pull a rabbit out of the hat like that, but I highly doubt that's gonna be the case. I think maximum we could probably see Q3 based on these numbers, maybe a dollar dollar five if they can do a dollar ten and more that would be extremely bullish that would mean the gap would have to be more than 3.3 billion dollars which that would mean non-gap needs to be 3.7 billion dollars so operating margin needs to be 12.6 percent. so i really don't know how they're gonna do that but if they can do a dollar and five or more I think we can stay at these levels around the 270, 280, 290, 260, you know, in that mid to high 200s. However, though, that's for the same PE. If we want to maintain the 270s, that would mean a PE of in the 80s, probably even in the 85s. If you want to touch the 300s, we need a PE of 90. Now, if sentiment is really good for Tesla and we don't we don't sense any type of recession or the Cybertruck isn't delayed or there's some crazy bad macro news or, or something really bad about tesla we can probably see the pe go in the hundreds i can probably see that reaching 337 maybe that's a bit aggressive maybe 95 would make more sense 320 around there okay i can see that but as of now you know i'm just going to keep it at 80 pe keeping it leveled now if we in q3 the fud gets real again maybe a pe of 60 going to 202 65 to 19 or at 70 236 in average in about 250 with a p of 75 would make sense in that case but keeping it 80 pe around the 270 levels gonna keep it there now let's move on to q4 because i think q4 is going to be a monstrous year in terms of deliveries if you guys are ready for this smash that flippant like button so the average selling price i kept it flat from q4 to q3 same thing no difference most likely it's gonna go lower but it's gonna keep it flat because i am optimistic we have the credits here 225 going down services going up as well leasing again slightly going up vehicle gross profits 18 percent because again with cogs that's going to continue to go lower. Energy revenue here of $2.5 billion was absolutely insane with a 20% profit margin here. So about half a billion dollars in profits. Wouldn't that be an awesome day to see in Q4? That'd be awesome. Operating costs almost reaching $2 billion. Taxes $275 million and other income or interest $300 million. Now, what I think Q4 is going to be, I think Q4 is going to be very surprising to all of us. I'm going to go ahead and say, going to be a little bit wild, but I think they can do this, 535,000 in deliveries. And remember, in Q4, everyone's looking for a new car in Q4. 535,000, look at that. Total gap gross margin of 18.4%. Operating margin, 11.7%. So more than Q1s, so that's awesome revenue almost reaching 30 billion a net income gap 3.5 billion non-gap almost 4 billion that would give an eps of a dollar and 13 so that is awesome even though eps in the fiscal year is still going down but 
it looks like it's turning it's about to turn around and it's q4 of 2023 2024, 2025 are going to be awesome years for Tesla, especially when interest rates go down. Because once interest rates go down, not only can Tesla increase their price slightly, but they're going to benefit from demand. People who are not buying vehicles now or the year before, or maybe next year if we're still in this weird economy and high interest rates, their vehicle purchase gets delayed. It's not like they're not going to buy vehicles anymore. It's just that they need a new vehicle. They want a new vehicle, but it just gets pushed back a year or two. And demand just comes one year after the other after the other because now they can afford it. But the real question is, what's the stock price going to be in Q4? So let's give it the same PE as Q3 of 80 and we get a stock price of 265. Again, why? The fiscal year for the EPS is going down and down and down. To maintain the 270s, we need a PE of 81, 82 to keep it the same stock price. But here's the catcher. Why is the market cap more? like a lot more in Q2 to Q3 and Q3 to Q4, but they're all the same prices. Well, that's because they keep diluting shares. Now, if they say in Q4 that they're going to do a buyback, this will change. Now, we're going to stay the same or maybe go lower. And if the shares of standings go lower, we can see the market cap go less, meaning that the stock price has a chance to go a little bit more higher. So that's the power of buybacks. But we're going to wait and see if they're going to even do buybacks this year. I don't think they will. They need the money to do all the cap axes and the factories and all the stuff that they need for later expansion and you know for tesla to reach a 20 million by 2030 in the compact car and cybertruck oh there's so many things with tesla it's just insane however though if tesla comes out with their guidance and they say that look q4 we did record we're doing everything right but 2024 is going to be an amazing year and we hear things about like interest rates about to get cut a little bit and we hear the economy is feeling a whole lot better hopefully the russia and ukraine war is over you know we see more optimism in the year then we can definitely see it's tesla reaching 85 pe 90 pe heck i'm even gonna say as high as 100 pe because the cyber truck because we're gonna get the first delivery of the cyber truck and the production is gonna start so we're going to see a lot of people excited and I can see the PE go as high as 100, maybe 115. No, I think that's a bit too much. 150, 380, might as well go to 120, go to like almost 400, reaching almost all time high. It was absolutely insane. I want to keep it at 100 around 331. But nonetheless, realistic price ranges end year is between 290 and 360 bucks per share. That's what I think we're going to end off the year with unless we get something breaks and we go into recession then probably it's not going to be this high which we can probably do it here as well i mean if we reach go back to a 60 pe that's a 200 bucks per share by year end which is insane which i don't think that's really possible for tesla if they're doing if they're ramping up if the, if the business has grown three times since last year right it's that, that would scream to me the biggest opportunity of my life. Maybe a 75 PE in the 250s would make sense at this point. But none, nevertheless, 290 to 360 per share could be the realistic price range by year end. If you guys want to ask me, my price target for this year is still 260. I'm not changing it. I'm not Dan Ives that if it goes up, I'm going to chase the stock up. Or if it goes down, I'm going to chase the stock down. I'm more of a Gary Black investor. Whatever happens in the market, my price target is this. If the stock goes to five bucks per share, I'm still saying it's 260. If it goes to a thousand bucks per share, I'm still saying it's 260. So that's how I am. Now, I will be coming out with a price target for 2024, end of 2024. I just need a little bit more information about this Q3, and then we're good to go. We can go ahead and make it. But for now, let's see what's going to happen in Q3, because all eyes are on Q3 right now, and I'm flipping excited. It's going to be insane. And check this out, guys. Total deliveries for 2023, if they do the numbers that we did, like just touching, almost like one delivery away from 1.9 million. How cool would that be? If that actually happens 45 percent year over year growth Sheesh, that's insane all right guys i got a plane to catch i gotta go but you guys should check out this video you won't regret it get your about the dip shirt for tesla i think mine arrived i just gotta go home back to in toronto to pick it up i'm very excited and subscribe for more and i shall see you guys in the next video see ya